Okay, so uh, here I am charging. Uh, the battery is uh, cool in the shade. Um, I have uh, 110 milliampere and uh, around uh, 4 volts, a little bit over it, it looks like uh, it, yeah. Um, I had to, this is a second uh, multimeter, of course, I had to connect it uh, to get uh, actual live uh, voltage reading. And these are needles, yes. Uh, pins, pins and needles. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Look it up. Um, the LED is working, and uh, yeah, now the uh, volt, uh, the um, uh, current is changing. Um, <coughs> I, uh, I'm uh, going to stop now, and I'm, I'm going to. Um, I need the. Uh, uh, to uh, solder a connector for measuring uh, the voltage. I don't want to um, uh, take uh, this uh, wire apart, the rig. Um, so I'll just uh, quick soldering. It will be take five minutes. Um, and yeah, we have uh, 107.5. The cell is. Uh, yeah, it's 7.3. So um, you definitely need uh, want uh, two multimeters to um, to work with, and um, you need to measure um, the um, actual voltage uh, in the cell uh, once in a while to keep track on it. And uh, I'll catch you later. Okay, uh, so uh, the connector is uh, done, uh, quick and easy. Um, the polarity is not important when you measure voltages. I, I do work to uh, keep uh, the colors right. I uh, happened to I found out uh, some uh, KSD 301 that I mentioned before, uh, something I did years ago. Um, so uh, this is how it looks like, you know, the temperature isn't uh, right uh, for this project and um, uh, what else, yeah, just a minute, I will uh, measure the uh, voltages. Okay, uh, so I'm charging now um, <coughs> 110. Uh, dropping and uh, hello again yeah okay no it's not okay something with the contacts with those quakes shit oh. um the voltage of uh, the uh, the battery was uh, a very nice uh, 2.7 volts and um, yeah so we took it doesn't take uh, long, just uh, something like uh, five, ten minutes, not more. I have to fix this. Uh, okay. Okay, so it's been uh, just, I think, three, five minutes uh, since I. Uh, I started recharging again from uh, 2.7 and it's already almost uh, 3 volts. Uh, we, I have a current of uh, 107.8. The voltage is okay. I fixed uh, the connections uh, with the voltage measurement. Uh, one thing I want to say that, that um, it's not good to um, um, do this uh, in direct sunshine. Uh, it harms the uh, LCD display and yeah, so I'll continue in the afternoon. Okay, so um, I started uh, charging the second cell, uh, which was rated at, uh, which was me measured at uh, 1.2 volts or something. Um, the current started at uh, about 170 milliampere and dropped uh, in about 30 minutes to this way. Uh, 115 and still dropping um, so I'll, I'll just uh, let it uh, it's uh, 
the rate of uh, descent is uh, slowing. Um, I think I will let it work until uh, about 90 uh, milliampere or something. Uh, I, I don't like uh, this arrangement of, um, of cables. Um, uh, it has to be more uh, fixed uh, to um, uh, something like a wood uh, or something like this. Otherwise, you know, it just uh, too fl seems too flimsy, uh, not really secure. But other than that, I'm uh, pretty satisfied. Uh, there is nothing bad to say. Um, so let's have a view of the surrounding area. Uh, this guy is uh, listening to nice music. So we have a lot, a lot of green stuff around. Yeah, till later. Okay, time to um, for conclusions. And I managed uh, the the battery is working. I managed. I I am um, successful in this way, in this manner. I am screwed because I lost uh, two screws here. But uh, you know, I managed to um, put uh, the balancing cable that I um, soldered. Uh, put it inside at the back. Um, for uh, it might be useful uh, later on. Um, about the circuit, um, the wire itself is good, is okay. It could be um, the connections uh, could be uh, better, uh, the soldering, um, etc. But um, it has to be um, um, fastened. Uh, made more stable uh, like I did with this foam uh, board to this wood so because um, when working uh, you you cannot control your movements uh, uh, as you think and uh, you can make mistakes and the wires uh, move around uh, you know I should have done it uh, I will do it if I have to I will do it uh, a little bit better you know fasten to to um, um, wood board uh, like this one. Um, the when charging uh, the system, the the circuit liked uh, to be at 4.2 volts and uh, about 130 uh, milliamp, maybe a bit less. And it simply liked it, and uh, it was stable. It stabilized on uh, on these uh, values. Um, it took about uh, 20 to 30 minutes to charge each, each cell um, and uh, I had to measure at least twice uh, the, the, um, the voltage of uh, each cell which means I had to move the, um, the one multimeter from uh, measuring of, um, current to measuring voltage uh, with the, this connector 
which is um, good uh, if it is a female connector. This one is uh, male, but, uh, you know, I did the shortcut and uh, in a way I regret it, but uh, it worked for me. But uh, a female, when you can put uh, the uh, leads of uh, the multimeter inside, is much more comfortable and safe. Um, don't do it uh, in direct sunlight because it takes time and uh, things get hot so uh, and it's also difficult to see the light uh, in this LED and uh, mo most important is uh, to create a checklist um, this is the best way to um, to do things uh, I think and um, uh, yeah that's it I the I looked up uh, the um, cells that I have, they are called the uh, 50-50-80 um, and um, I still have problems uh, with this uh, battery. I have a strange issue of uh, voltage. Uh, um, I have two cables um, to um, use uh, in uh, these uh, connectors and uh, uh, connector for uh, connectors for laptops, uh, etc. Uh, the the voltage is fine and it's unstable. But uh, if I connect uh, um, a cable uh, used for, let's say, a USB or something like this, uh, or charging a cell phone, the voltage uh, is lower, is much lower, is about half and dropping, and drops uh, pretty fast. So it is, it is strange, but it is. Uh, rather irrelevant uh, to the subject at hand of uh, charging uh, uh, the, uh, the battery. And uh, I'm uh, quite happy with uh, b being successful and um, yeah, that's it. Um, thanks for watching and uh, good luck, be careful.